Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. We are here on the beautiful Carnival Vista and I wanna give you a tour of this amazing ship. We're gonna start out at the very top of the ship and work our way down to the bottom, giving you a full walkthrough of the Vista. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's start out our Carnival Vista tour here on deck 15 towards the front of the ship. This overlooks the Carnival Waterworks area here with the water slides and all that. Now to access the two large water slides, you do need to hike up the stairs here on deck 15. And one of them is called the Kaleidoscope and the other one is called the Twister. Just head on up there and you are all set. Those are complimentary to use here on the Vista. Now this is the Serenity deck or deck 15. And if you're an adult and you wanna enjoy the Serenity area, if our guests over 21, it's right here at the front of the ship. So it is complimentary to come in here included with your cruise fare. There's lots of comfortable seating in here with cushion seats. You've got these kind of clamshell mini cabana things here you can enjoy. Um, and this does definitely fill up on the sea day. So come early, grab your seat and enjoy the great views and the sun. Now, if you do wanna walk up here, you can come up the stairs inside as well. And there is one elevator that brings you up here on the inside. We'll head back out onto the deck, more comfy loungers. And they do have these glass windscreens here that help block the wind, especially on the sea days. Those do come in handy. There's restrooms up here as well as showers. Now there are two large hot tubs or spas up here as well. They do get fairly busy, especially on the sea days, but they're quite large and there's one on either side of the ship. And they have great views out of those as well. Now, if you haven't used the Serenity before, they have yellow towels in this area. So this is the towel exchange area and the Serenity towels are yellow rather than the blue ones that you would find over by the beach pool. You're also gonna find the Serenity bar up here. And if we come around to the front, you've got more of those little cabanas or clamshell cabanas as well as umbrellas up here and more loungers. Awesome place to hang out for the adults. The Serenity Bar. Now, if you're looking for lunch while you're up here as well, they do have fresh creations over here on the left-hand side where they'll make you a salad that you can enjoy. It's complimentary with your cruise fare. And then over here on the right-hand side is the matching hot tub to the other side. So a spa right here as well. So there's two of those. And then we'll head on down this side of the ship. It's basically the exact same as the other side. And that's about it for the Serenity area. We're back overlooking Carnival Waterworks. Let's head on down to deck 14. Now there's not a whole lot on deck 14, kind of midship or towards the back of the ship. We'll show you that in a moment. That's the high ropes area and the sky ride. But here towards the front, there is Whole bunch of cabins towards the front and i know the cloud nine spa does have a few rooms up here as well and you can also access the splash zone here at the carnival waterworks the kids love this the water spraying everywhere it's so much fun for them on the hot days especially here at sea they've got some small water slides for the kids as well and we're going to head on down to deck 12 so there is not a deck 13 on this ship there's cabins down the side here on deck 12 at the front. And if we head on in the doors here, this is gonna take us to the Cloud9 area, the Cloud9 spa and treatment rooms. Um, they've got thermal suites. There's also a complimentary fitness center here towards the front of the ship. Really nice modern feel in here. I love all the tile. And the gym has lots of equipment. They've got free weights, there's treadmills, ellipticals. I do have a full tour of the gym. I'll have that linked below in the description. If you're taking any fitness classes here, they've got the fitness studio with the spin bikes. There's yoga mats. They've got a little stage in here for the instructor. And of course, they've got the Cloud9 Spa with different treatment rooms. There's the saunas, there's the thermal suites. They also have different hairdressers and all sorts of stuff that they'll do here. And you can check with them for pricing. Um, they do offer a tour on embarkation day as well. So you can get a feel of what this is like and come in here and pamper yourself. Let's head on back out to the deck. Through the doors here. 
and the Carnival Waterworks. Here's a better look at it for the kids. One of the slides is a tube slide as well. So they've got tubes there, the small slides for the kids, and then the two large slides. There's a shower there. And this kind of overlooks the beach pool area. So you can see that there's two decks above the beach pool. Definitely helps with the wind down in that area. Lots of loungers down there. There are not any hot tubs down by the beach pool. So the other hot tubs are at the aft of the ship. Lots of loungers up here as well. The big carnival seaside theater on the right hand side there where they play movies in the evening. The running track heading around here. They've got a couple of foosball tables, one here and one on the other side of the ship. And up there is back up to deck 14. That's where you're gonna find access to the sky ride as well as the ropes course. These are both complementary activities. So you've got the sky ride on the right hand side, you've got the ropes course here on the left. And there's actually a couple of the mini golf holes up here as well. Most of the holes are down on deck 12, but there's a couple of them here on deck 14. The high ropes course going around, it has two tracks that go around kind of a big square here. Mini golf. A sports square down below there, there's the pool table, four player ping pong, there's cornhole. Such a fun area of the ship for all ages. And the mini golf holes are really big, really a lot of fun here on this ship. Foosball table up there. Quite a bit of seating up here. Pool table. They've also got the clubhouse up here. The sports square, you've got cornhole. Four player ping pong. Some cupboard areas here. More of the mini golf holes. And then the sky track or running track goes right around all of the sports area here on deck 12. And the nice thing about it is there aren't loungers up here. So people aren't getting in the way of one another. If you are out here for a run or a jog, it's very convenient. Seven laps to one mile. Towards the back of the ship here, you're going to find the sky court. You can shoot hoops or they'll have different tournaments, maybe dodgeball tournaments, um, all sorts of stuff going on there. And then you'll find the sky fitness area here if you want to work out. It basically uses your body weight as resistance. And there's also some stretching areas over here as well. And this brings us to one of my favorite spots on the ship. There's such great views from deck 12 here overlooking the tides pool at the back. We'll be down there in a moment. Then continuing around to the other side here, there's more exercise equipment out here. Let's head on down the stairs here to deck 11 and this will bring us to one of the smoking areas on the ship. You can see there's little couches and loungers here. There's ashtrays set out for you and some great views from this area as well. You'll find more loungers here, more seating. Let's head on inside here at the aft of the ship. And this is where you're gonna find access to Gigi's restaurant as well as Cucina del Capitano. Gigi's is an Asian inspired restaurant. And Cucina del Capitano is an Italian restaurant. We'll head back out on the deck here. Some very comfortable seating out here as well as loungers. They've got big umbrellas to help keep you in the shade. Let's head back towards the front of the ship. You can see there's more glass screens here to help protect from the wind. That's Gigi's on the right hand side behind the glass there. And again, lots of loungers down the side of the ship. And if we look up over the wall here, this is the outside area for Camp Ocean. It looks like a lot of fun for the kids in there. We'll head towards the beach pool here. There's a shower, more loungers out here, some colorful seating. Maybe you want to play some cards out here. And here's the beach pool down below us right here. Again, there's no hot tubs in this area, but they do have these really cool huts where you can kind of sit in the water, keep your feet cool on a hot day. There's also the little stage up here for the DJ pumping music throughout the week. And if we head on inside here, this is where you would get access to Camp Ocean. 
And if you go up the stairs here, that'll take you up to the clubhouse at the sports square. Past the DJ booth. There's stairs on either side of the ship going up and down here. More comfortable seating overlooking the beach pool with padded chairs and then loungers. We'll head on inside here. Now towards the front of the ship, this is pretty much all cabins here towards the front of the ship. Really nice beach vibe coloring scheme they've got in here. And then we're towards the front of the ship here at the elevator bank. So there's eight elevators here at the front of the ship. Let's head on down to deck 10, the Lido deck, everyone's favorite. Again, past the elevators, out to the beach pool area. So now as you come out here, you're going to see there are complimentary life jackets if you do need them here. There's the towel exchange station right here. There are two bars out here. The first one over here is the Red Frog Rum Bar. Lots of seating out here. And then on the other side is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar with some really neat seating as well. They've even got some souvenirs. And if you can snag one of these half booths, those are awesome under the little covered tiki hut. And then up here you've got the Blue Iguana Cantina, one of our favorites. They've got a little salsa bar. They will make you custom tacos and burritos here. And this is included with your cruise fare. Showers. The beautiful beach pool. Those little tiki huts. Keep your feet wet on a hot day. And in this corner over here, you'll find Guy's Burger Joint. They've got the little toppings bar there and they will make burgers for you. These are really good burgers. I believe they have five to choose from. My favorite is the Ringer. And in here, they've got cheeseburgers, they've got French fries, and they make them right here in front of you. And this is one of my favorites on Carnival Cruise Lines, Guy's Burger Joint. Let's head on into the Lido marketplace buffet this is the complimentary buffet here on the ship you can see there's quite a bit of seating off to the left some of the seats have great views out the window now you are going to find a swirls ice cream here where they've got yogurt as well as soft serve ice cream they've got another one of these on the other side of the ship and there's quite a bit of high top seating here as well these seats are really nice you can sit up high um, i love sitting in those and you can see the buffet over here on the left hand side. Part of it is currently closed because it's quite early in the morning. In the mornings they do have omelette stations here and the decor is really cool. They've even got fake trees in here. You've got beverage stations throughout the buffet and it is kind of a single line buffet so it's not an island based system. So you do line up at the one end and get in line to get your food and nice colors. I love the bricks there on the side. Some high top tables here on the left. Another beverage station, water, ice, the Nestle Vitality machines, hot chocolate, coffee, decaf coffee, and then a variety of teas. They've got the little hand washing stations. You grab a plate and you head on through the buffet. Cereal there on the right hand side. All sorts of pastries and fruit. And all the breakfast here and I do have a full kind of food tour of all the food we saw and ate during our cruise here on the Vista. I'll have that link below in the description as well so if you want to see what kind of complimentary food you'll find on the ship make sure to check that video out. We'll head out the back of the ship here towards the tides pool. More seating out here if you'd like to sit outside and here on the right is where you're gonna find the seafood shack so if you like seafood uh, lobster that sort of thing you can find that out here this is not complimentary you do have to pay for this here on the vista you're also going to find the tides bar out here right by the tides pool really nice pool with great views off the aft of the ship and there are two large spas or hot tubs out here and these are open till midnight so that's great i love that they're open that late tons of loungers around the back here with umbrellas Colors are bright and vibrant. 
One of my favorite spots, looking off the back of the ship. And if we have a look down, you'll see the Havana area down here. So the Havana pool and hot tubs. And we'll get up close to that a little bit later in this video. Some stairs up to deck 11. And this is the Pizzeria del Capitano here. So this is complimentary pizza and it's open very late and they make all sorts of pizzas here and you can grab those. These are delicious, especially late at night. And if you are wondering, they do serve Pepsi products here on the ship. So it's Pepsi products, not Coke products. We'll head back on inside here to the aft elevators. There is a back door into the marketplace buffet. But we're gonna head on down to deck seven. So decks nine, eight, seven, and six are mostly cabins. Here on deck seven, you will see some Havana staterooms and suites. And we're gonna head towards the front of the ship actually. And I do wanna show you the laundry room or the laundrette up here. So there are several laundry rooms around the ship. If you have a spill or need to do some laundry, you can do that here for a fee. There's some sinks, there's detergent and washers and dryers. Heading towards the front of the ship, this is where we're going to find the IMAX theater on decks 6 and 7. Right by the front elevators. And you can buy your tickets here. They sell snacks and drinks that you can take into the theater. And the theater was much bigger than I thought it would be. It's 3D. The seats were extremely comfortable. And there was a lot of seating in here. I was quite impressed with this theater. Heading down the stairs towards deck six, when you get halfway down, you can choose to go left or right, and left will take you back towards the elevators. If you turn right, it'll take you down to the warehouse arcade, as well as circle C for the 12 to 14 year olds. They can come in here and have an awesome time hanging out. It looks like all sorts of fun stuff in there. Really bright colors. And then right next to that is the warehouse arcade. Lots of games in here. A lot of ticket-based games where you can win tickets and then trade them in for prizes and a fairly large arcade. And we'll head halfway up the stairs and then back down the other side towards the elevators. Back down to deck six. Now, at the front of the ship on deck 6, 7, 9, and 10, they have this cool little deck. Not a lot of people know about this. You can look off the front of the ship here. Some great views. One of my favorite places to hang out on the ship. It was always very quiet up here. They've got benches. Deck 5 was for crew only. But you can head on up the stairs here to deck seven as well. And we're right under the bridge. And again, you can go out here at the front of the ship on decks nine and 10 as well. Back inside, we're gonna head on down to deck five. We're at the front of the ship here and deck five is known as the promenade deck. We'll head around the corner here, and this is where you're gonna find access to the upper floors of the Liquid Lounge, which is the main theater on the Carnival Vista. Now, it's not a traditional style theater. You can see the floor is quite flat, and the chairs are removable, so they can use it for other events, maybe dancing, that sort of thing, in the Liquid Lounge. We'll continue on here. This is known as the Lanai. It's out the side here. And this is one of the smoking areas on the ship. And there are some great views from here. Glass walls so you can see out. Nice and close to the water. Lots of seating, comfy seats, ashtrays for your convenience. The front bank of elevators. And on this side, you're gonna find the access to the liquid lounge on the other side here for the upper floor. And if you go outside here as well, you're gonna find a large seating area with loungers going right down the side. Really comfy seating out here and a lot quieter. Now here on the promenade deck, you are gonna find quite a bit of shopping. Some higher end boutiques, purses, jewelry, guests. 
and you can see that we're coming out and going to overlook the atrium area here. You're going to see the funnel video screen there that changes throughout the week right down to the bar below. Up here as well, you've got Island Traders General Store with lots of souvenirs, hats, shirts, if you need sundresses, that sort of thing. They've got it all there for you. You've got Rum K Clothing Company. More clothing, some carnival gear in there. They've got funnel gear. Carnival t-shirts, choose fun bags, Vista gear hats and then right next to that you're gonna find cherry on top this is the candy shop here on the carnival vista and there is a ton of candy in here if you've got kids they're gonna to want to come in here and grab some candy they've got cruising ducks gear there's a little ice cream shop in here you do have to pay to get ice cream here dr seuss and lots of bulk candy now that's the upper promenade there. We'll go down there in a moment, but continuing along with some of the stores here, you'll find the Effie store here. So lots of jewelry in the Effie store. Front Street watches, so lots of high-end watches in there. And Sea Breeze Beauty and Fragrances. So if you'd like some perfume, you can grab that here. Chanel, Clinique, Boss. There's some cash machines here. And check your accounts up here as well you are gonna find the piano bar 88 come in here in the evenings listen to some music get a beverage and across the way is the library bar and in here you can grab a book or some games play some chess or checkers in here it was even set up for a small little wedding while we walk through here. There's an overlook here over the casino with one of those video funnels that goes right down. Very neat to look over there. And over on this side, you'll find one of the paid restaurants, Bonsai Sushi. Nice, modern, bright look in here. The Alchemy Bar and on the other side here you'll find Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse all the wine as you walk in nice and modern and bright down this way you'll find the center bank of elevators and we'll head around the Alchemy Bar here past the bar and the sushi. You can access the outside here and then you'll find the Pixels photo gallery. So if you've had photos taken of you throughout the week, you can come look at them here on the screens and order them. They've also got a small selection of electronics in this area. If you want a GoPro or other electronics, memory cards, this is where you'll come for that sort of thing. Outside here is the seating for Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. And right here, you'll find the Red Frog Pub and Brewery. I love the style in here. They've got wine barrels, they've got the brewing equipment, the bar back here, Jenga on the wine barrels. And around the corner, you'll find shuffleboard as well as a couple of foosball tables. You've got the Dream Studio. And outside, you're gonna find Guy's Pig and Anchor. This is the barbecue. It is complimentary on sea days and embarkation days, but it does get quite busy. And here you'll get some great barbecue, chicken, pork butt. So the dream studio here. And then up here, you're gonna find the Java Blue Cafe. If you'd like a specialty coffee for breakfast, they can make that up for you here or the shake spot. They've got some tasty treats here as well. And this is the Ocean Plaza. So there's a little dance floor here. There'll commonly be music playing here. You might come here for trivia. Awesome little place to hang out. And there's also the Plaza Bar here as well. At the back here, you're gonna find the Havana staterooms and suites. 
and as well you'll find the Havana Bar. Now you don't have to have a Havana room to visit the Havana Bar, but you do need it for the pool area. This is gorgeous. I love the style in here. Lots of vibrant colors. They have a stage in the middle. Live music will be playing here in the evenings. There's dancing. You've got the Havana Bar here at the back. And then outside is where you're going to find the Havana pool and hot tubs. So there's two hot tubs or spas out here. They're quite large. And they're always much quieter than up on the Lido deck. So if you have a Havana room, you are all set. Some little cabanas and loungers. Here's the other hot tub. Back inside, let's head on down to deck four. This is the mezzanine deck. And at the aft of the ship here, you are gonna find the Horizons restaurant, main dining room. And this is kind of a two story restaurant, decks four and three. It's beautiful in here, very modern. And this is where we ate most of our dinners. You'd come here for sea day brunch or breakfast. And some of you will access this on deck four. Others, it'll be deck three. Let's head on down the lower promenade here. You'll find a conference room. And around the corner, you'll find the Lime Light Lounge. This is where they hold most of the comedy for the punchline or comedy in here. Nice little venue. Nice seating in here. They'll also often hold art auctions and art exhibits in here as well. So that will be during the day. We'll continue down the promenade here. You'll find the art gallery area. If you're looking to get some art on the ship. And then you'll find the Skybox Sports Bar. So in here they've got multiple TVs, often be playing sports. Some jerseys on the wall. And then you'll come to the Vista Casino. And there's a main walkway that goes through the middle of the casino. It kind of goes diagonal across the middle. Past that funnel that we saw earlier. and out the other side. And we're back out in the main atrium area. There's a little stage over here on the side of the stairs where they'll commonly be playing live music. There's seating up here. You've got the port side liquor and tobacco store. So you can grab that. And then on the other side here, You've got a jewelry store, Pandora, more seating. You've got the front bank of elevators here and there's also access to the lower floors of the Liquid Lounge Theater. Another shop, hip fish, accessories, bags, purses. Let's head on down to deck three or the lobby deck. You've got the shore excursions desk here, so if you'd like to book some excursions for your next port of call, you can do that right here. They've got the dance floor and they'll often host little parties in here. The cruise director will get up on the bar and dance and um, kind of lead the party. There's lots of seating down here. And over this way, you're gonna find the Reflections restaurant. This is one of the main dining rooms on the ship. Nice modern colors in here. Some seating back here as well around the bar area and this will bring us around to the guest services area so if you have any problems or questions you can come talk to them here at guest services there's a little money exchange machine here if you need to break some bills and I did want to take you down into the family harbor area as well so towards the back of the ship or the aft of the ship on deck two you'll find the family harbor area and they do have the Family Harbor Lounge here. So if you have one of these rooms, you can access this. There's all sorts of seating in here. You can come in here, get some snacks or breakfast. They'll serve different foods here throughout the week. Easy access with your kids. Some more seating. There's some video games, a computer. An ice cream machine and a beverage station. And that's the Family Harbor Lounge. 
Thanks for watching this Carnival Vista ship tour. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer. We've got plenty of videos coming up that we'd love to share with you. And don't forget to watch our Carnival Vista vlog series. Those are all linked below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.